immigration means the migration of one land to another. However, illegal immigration, on the other hand, is when an individual comes into a country undocumented without the government knowing he has entered the country, thus making problems because now the country has a person in the in its own country without knowing it's even is even there. There are many benefits to immigration, or some of them being economic. For example, they usually bring into the country very lucrative opportunities for jobs, such as stores, business um, situations like uh, restaurants, many, many Hispanics, many Middle Eastern people, many <coughs> Asians bring their own ideas of, let me bring my culture, my food, let them taste what it, let them feel what it's like, and they make fantastic restaurants. Local economies desperately need immigrants, such as, in, for example, in California, they use, they use uh, the help of the Hispanic workforce due to the fact that they're always available and ready that to use them for uh, agricultural work, pick the oranges, all that, all that business with the farm work, which is very difficult and tedious. If a mass deportation was one day to occur out of nowhere, this would definitely cripple local economies to a certain extent because now they have to look for a certain amount of a new workforce to help them out, a workforce that they actually have to give fair wage to, who will definitely be asking for it because, I mean, they were born here and they expect a good wage, whereas immigrants, they just want to make a good, good amount of money to support their family. Usually, this is the current system that is in place for immigrants to enter the country. They have to go through a long process by applying for a visa which usually costs $200 just to set up an appointment. And even then, they still need a sponsor in this country, which most people don't have, to enter the country. That sponsor needs to say, yeah, I'm going to accept him, it's fine, he'll be with us. And even then, there's still a low chance that that immigrant's gonna get applied due to the fact that there's a massive waiting list at the moment. The melting pot, hundreds of different, hundreds of immigrants enter the country illegally, legally, whatever. Hispanics, Middle Eastern, African Americans, and Asians all enter the country. I mean, the, the norm is, oh, immigrants, Hispanics, Mexicans, all that, no. Every, everyone from around the world comes to this country for the opportunity or for the safety that it brings. The system right now currently is flawed because immigrants are just gonna keep coming regardless of the situation. They're gonna keep walking through the borders because the only thing that's stopping them, in this case, the Hispanic community, the only thing that's stopping them is just a little iron fence. That's it. Nothing much is being done to stop them whatsoever. And above that, big companies such as Walmart, uh, McDonald's, and Minimi uh, abuse this um, workforce by getting them, getting them straight off the border, getting them to work for them for cheap labor. When an immigrant has no other legal channels to go and enter to apply for visa, they usually just end up walking through the border, going through the desert, which is dangerous, costing their lives, and above all, illegal. They, they, they do it when, when they're desperate and they, they just they need to leave the country due to the fact of the problems, social, economic, or political, whatever. In this case, definitely 
check in with the local immigration authorities to make sure that he is in check, he has a job, he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, and not slacking off or 